Oh, F used take four. A only. Mark. <laughs> I feel like R&B is hard to define because it's 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 grown so much from its um, original origins. But for me, I define R&B as R&B is where I go to release the emotions that normally would be reserved for myself only. Um, R&B is where I find my freedom. I define R&B as uh, a labor of love. Um, just love music. It's allowing yourself to be vulnerable, you know? There's pain in it. It's sexy. It's gospel. R&B is what happens when church kids uh, rebel. <laughs> it's, uh, it's history, it's culture. It always adapts, always evolves with the times. It is always present, always alive. R&B runs so deep. I think it's just timeless. For me, it's like a part of life. You know, it's the reason why I breathe. My earliest memory of music is, has to be, um, you know, just my parents. You know, my mom and dad, they're musicians. My mom had a bunch of records. One of the first things I was listening to was Michael Jackson. One of my favorite songs from him was Human Nature, actually. I don't know, it was just something that just sounded like unreal to me that something so beautiful can be heard. Destiny's Child, Lauryn Hill, Brandy. Mariah Carey. I listened to a lot of the greats. I, I listened to like Marvin Gaye and Stevie, and I picked records from them that I really loved, and I tried to match those feelings. Figuring stuff out, like producing my own music. I went through a lot of different sonic changes where I kind of tried to figure out, you know, what I thought was cool. And ironically, a lot of that music I put up and it's still up on SoundCloud. Y'all not like them. You're so different, you stay on my mind. Highest of highs, floating when I'm off of your supply. I, all the things I often dream of, you bring them to life. Love on me, play. Even as a kid, before I could speak words, I feel like I listened to R&B and like it was just engraved. And my big sister is like R&B head, so I was just I just grew up on R&B. My dad and my uncles are the Isley Brothers collectively, and um, I absorbed all of their music, all of just watching them on stage. Those are the best teachers, for sure. When I was a kid, my uh... My dad was producing uh, mainly like neo soul, R&B music, hip hop, and uh, yeah, like my earliest memories were in his studio, in his garage, like sitting on his lap or just watching um, the artists and the musicians and see them as family. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we said no glasses. glasses. My bad. I guess it got a little awkward, but still we have our little moments. 
feel like we only moving backwards But still we driving, never stopping I create based on how I feel in that moment. I can't force like a, a feeling and I can't force a hit or a song, you know, it's just, it's either gonna happen or it's not gonna happen. And sometimes it happens with people you would not expect it to, you know? Starting off, it was definitely just me by myself writing. Writing was, uh, and still is therapy for me. Been looking for answers, some kind of sign, a deeper meaning, but not much to find. I heard her singing this old jazz standard, and I felt that same connection listening to Stevie Wonder and Al Green as a kid. I had come across a couple of great producers along the way and, and had started working there, and initially we were just, you know, vibing and seeing what happened, and, and we were like, okay. This is dope. And Jack was like, well, we should put out a project. And I was like, you know what, we should. That would be a great idea. So that was the beginning of, of Marigold, and uh, here we are. To this day, I still feel like our creative chemistry is pretty unmatched. And it's something that I chase with everybody that I work with, but you know, it doesn't always come that naturally. You make me feel like I can love Oh, you make me feel, me feel Like I can love again Can love again all about like finding your avenue to express yourself that just feels natural. R&B always felt natural to me. You know, the process, it could be different for, you know, whoever I'm working with. Lucky Day, Silk Sonic, Victoria Monet, you know, they might come in already with the whole idea. Another one, we, you know, just trying stuff and, you know, you might create something special, you know, just to keep it loose and, and just let God happen in the room is my main thing. My writing process is very open. I start with melody first, always. I just go in the booth and hum. Sometimes words will come out that'll like help me build the song. But a lot of the times I just be in there like, hmm, this, you know, whatever comes to mind. And then I like add structure, make it like an actual song. I moved to LA when I was 10, and I feel like moving here just broadened my horizon. Cali is just so like free. That vibe, just the energy of California, I feel like is just within my music. A lot of people think LA or California is like synonymous with Hollywood. And when you're really from here, you know that it's not the same thing at all. Growing up out here, the soul, it's just in its own pocket. Just coming back to LA from Atlanta where I was for 15 years, it was like a rediscovering of Los Angeles and a rediscovering of myself. And honestly, coming back here inspired the whole project, which is why the album starts with song one, Cali Love. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Anything that grows is gonna change. As long as we're not afraid of that change, R&B is going to be good. Soul knows no age to me. Because I think if you have it in you, you just have it in you. And once again, it's just like this feeling that you can't deny that R&B has. It's literally the main genre that everybody pulls from. I've been counting sky miles, just a few clouds floating between you and I. I've been taking my time, nothing feels right, something in the air supply. I'm searching for water where it never rains. I'll just stop looking for love in LA. Cause you could write it. I hope to just like make a positive impact on this world, you know, no matter like what it is that I do, I just want to be a voice for connecting people and like bring people together, you know? I don't know what uh, I'll be doing when I'm 80 or I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow, but as long as I'm making music and writing music or just using this outlet, Whatever that looks like, I'll be happy. I hope that people will be inspired to take risks or to, you know, do something that they've been afraid of. I hope that people will heal. I hope that people believe that uh, self-love is first and foremost. And um, it's a lot of different things, but <laughs> but I hope that they walk away with one or, or some of those things listening to me. R&B is embedded in everything. I mean, if that's not apparent, I don't know. You could get a new face, don't change. Can you find a true love in LA? I got to find my way, got to find my way, got to find my way. California, yeah, yeah. Got to find my way, yeah. Got to find my way, got to find my way. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's important to keep it alive and like just keep doing what feels real. Cause that's really R and B, like the R stands for real. <laughs> I'm so f sorry. I'm gonna let it rock. <laughs> the R stands for real. <laughs> oh my god. The R stands for real. <laughs> I'm about to call my sister.